What's going on guys? Today we have Camaro juicy news before the end of the year. This is information I think many of you guys wanna know and it's vindication, verification, whatever you wanna call it on news we have reported on plus new details. Let's jump to it. What's going on guys? Matt Ever here, Lethal Garage and we're back. It's been a it's been a hot minute since I've posted a new video and I'm really happy that we got some more juicy bits of Camaro news just before the new year. I've been focusing on myself quite a bit, just under losing 40 pounds at this point. Sorry, didn't comb my hair. Still got my bags under my eyes, so nothing's really changed outside of I'm a little less fatter. I guess that's, but that doesn't matter. You guys are here for Camaro news. So, ah. <sighs> Lots of stuff. So if you guys didn't see my previous videos, there's quite a bit of details. We revealed the ZL1 upgrades that were gonna be coming down. We revealed the Camaro SS was gonna get the LT2 motor. A lot of press outlets, a lot of people told us we were crazy. And actually, they didn't even tell us. They didn't even cite us, they didn't source us, they didn't do nothing. So shame on those people for not actually highlighting. You know, if you disagree with us, that's fine. When I say us, I mean me and my, my cars. The 71's here, but my, my sixth gen is at my friend's house because I need to finish the 71. Back to the news. But we are here to reiterate and go over Camaro news plus some finalized details that have been verified and uh, some other juicy tidbits of knowledge that you guys may wanna know. So, and I gotta pull up my phone because I have, I got some notes. So, uh, as you guys know, ZL1, LT2, LT5, all sorts of stuff coming down the pipeline. GM is taking the stance of they are gonna be the final sports coupe, muscle car, I don't know what you wanna call it, but to go out. So as you guys know, Charger Challenger is going EV 2023. Mustang is also going EV and GM is prolonging the Camaro generation until it runs into its full EV Camaro. So one thing, first and foremost, there is an EV Camaro coming. A lot of people have said it wasn't gonna happen, blah, 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 blah. It's happening. My sources are telling me a Camaro EV is gonna happen in the future, but before that happens, we're getting a last hurrah and we're getting all sorts of goodies applied to the Camaro that's just gonna make people really, really excited. So first and foremost, I'm gonna reiterate some stuff, but if you're new to the videos, you guys may have missed the previous ones. So. The one thing I, I haven't been able to just clarify or get in a precise, like just needle on it is 2023 or 2024, what year are these items coming? Are these changes gonna take place? I haven't got the conf confirmation. Some people are saying 2023, some people are saying 2024. My sources have not told me a date to date. So I just, I don't know the date. Could be 2023, could be 2024. So Camaro SS getting the LT2, more power, slight changes across the board, new color potentially coming, but the SS for the most part is getting new power. Now, facelift, now a lot of people are like, are they just gonna keep pushing out the same cars with the same look, etc.?" Well, the LT1, we talked about this before, the LT1's going away and the LT2 is going in the SS models. They may or may not release a different tier of SS model to compensate for the people who wanted the lower price V8. GM is very aware of the price conscious people out there that would like to get into Camaro and want a V8. So they're gonna be making options that are gonna make that happen. I don't know how that's gonna be labeled or named. Maybe the 1SS changes and there's a 2SS, 3SS. I, I don't know all those details, but it sounds like GM's really focusing on getting the LT2 in the car and then also creating a version that's, I don't wanna say a bargain, but a bargain SS with an SS body, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, a lot of people screamed heresy that the LT1 was an LT body style, but I think that was GM's way of making it cheaper. I don't know. I don't know the real answer there, but we do know the LT1's going away. They're gonna make an, an option to get the LT2 equipped Camaro cheaper. Maybe, I don't even know. Maybe they'll keep the LT1 in a cheaper version. I doubt it. I think the LT2 is where they're going moving forward. ZL1, so the ZL1 in its base form, which is still a fully loaded car, is getting and keeping the LT4. It is getting a bump. It has been verified it will be 670 horsepower. I truly believe that's a, an homage to 
the 67 Camaro and it's being the farewell of the last big V8s, just tying it to 670 horsepower. That's awesome. What the torque number is, I don't know. They haven't verified that torque number. They've seemed to have kind of kept them the same over the last couple of years, so, or handful of years, I should say. So maybe it's 670, 670, I don't know. But 670 will be the horsepower number we will be looking at. As far as the Z01 1LE, that is where the big changes are coming. So I had reported on this knowing that the LT5 was coming into the ZL1, but it's not just the ZL1. You can't get it in the base model ZL1. It's only gonna become available for the ZL1 1LE. So a lot of people may be a little bummed about that. I know I am. I really like knowing that this is the last hurrah, I really wanted to get just a streetable, not rough riding 1LE. I mean, that's a designated track car, so rightfully so. The suspension is how it's set up, but the 1LE is gonna get the LT5, and it sounds like it may be limited in numbers on how they're gonna be making them available, but they'll also be able to be available with an add-on carbon brake package. Now, I don't know if that's an auto thing that gets added, so if you get the LT5 motor, you automatically get carbon brakes, or if that's gonna be an option, but that's happening. LT5, Z01 1LE, LT4, regular ZL1, 670 horsepower. That's pretty cool in my book. I think that's pretty awesome. It doesn't sound like there's gonna be a commemorative edition or something like that. I know early on we reported there was gonna be a, a black wing style package coming to the ZL1, but what they're saying is the MagRide system is gonna get upgraded. So MagRide 4.0, which is going to be some new hotness from my understanding and then again with this 670 horsepower increase and a potential facelift to come with it now when they said the facelift it was very it was kind of vague it sounds like the facelift could be for the zl11 le it may trickle across trickle 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 across all the models but the the saying is there is gonna be a slight facelift to change the look of the car. And they had also mentioned that they had put out images or art early on a while ago. I don't know when, but it's kind of showing off what those changes could be. So I scavenged, I scavenged like the Chevy performance page. I scavenged looking at the GM design page and stuff like that. I found a whole bunch of posts here. I'm gonna pop them all over the screen here. It looks like obviously this could have been, or this can be the ZL1 1LE with the LT5 in it. I think it looks pretty aggressive, much better than it was. Again, we've shared this photo before. Uh, there's these interior shots. I don't know, they didn't say anything about interior upgrades or changes, but I mean, if they made changes to look like this, it may lead into some of like, I don't know if you guys saw the new Sierra and Silverado and obviously some of the catches, sketches around future Corvettes and all that stuff, like maybe GM's gonna put something different. Maybe they're gonna change the interior. That hasn't been, no one has said anything about that. Uh, none of my sources have said anything about interior changes, but these are sketches that clearly show interiors, that clearly show a Camaro style logo across the steering wheel there, that it's kind of cool. So I don't know, take it with a grain of salt. I don't know exactly what the facelift is gonna entail, but I do know that Al and a couple other people that are really tied to the Camaro name and really wanted to see success in that, they are working on this project and they are pushing it forward. Can I get Al to comment on that? Probably not. He never responds to any of my messages anyways, but Al, if this is happening and you are doing it, I am so excited for it. So another thing that may or may make Camaro fans sad, uh, my sources have reiterated there is not going to be a z28 style car for the sixth gen so that is definitely can not happening before the end of the generation so uh for those of you who are like maybe hold on no let go just let go oh one other thing um i know i mentioned in a previous video but the package for the ZL1 will have an updated spoiler, and I believe it's gonna be that low boy spoiler we saw early on that GM at Camaro Fest said they ditched it because it wasn't proving any functionality whatsoever. So maybe GM is going to the side of, hey, it's a cosmetic change and it looks great, or maybe they adjusted it to be functional, I don't know, but I think that lower profile winged spoiler 
is gonna look really cool. So I had mentioned early on, I think I mentioned early on, a new color, uh, Admiral Blue exterior finish. Maybe a color that comes back. That's, that's a color I think a lot of people are gonna like. So that being stated, what else is there? Yeah, we talked about that, we talked about that. The one thing I did ask, and you guys who watch this channel may not care, I asked if there was any changes or anything happening with the V6 model. I didn't get any sort of response or comment on that. So unfortunately there's nothing there, but I think the biggest takeaways from everything is LT2 coming into the Camaro SS, facelift changes potentially across all the models. And when I say facelift, it's not like, oh, a whole generational change. It's gonna be like the 19 and 21 faces where they change the face and maybe the tail end of the car. I'm thinking it's gonna be just the face and they'll keep the rear end. They seem to really like the 19, 20, 21, 22 style taillights. I know Al even called them like the jewel of the Camaro and I like them. I mean, at first I wasn't a big fan of those lights, but now that I see them on the road all over the place, especially at night and in the black, like the smoked black finish, I think those lights look amazing. So LT2 in the SS, potential facelift, LT4 in the regular ZL1 with 670 horsepower, potentially 670 torque. And then the ZL1 1LE with the LT5 motor, carbon ceramic brakes. And yeah, that, that's with a facelift, motor change stuff. I think that's more than enough. And if these images are anything of a potential interior change, like that's a lot of money. And I know there's a lot of people out there and a lot of sites that are just like, GM's not gonna spend the money to get the LT2 motor already recertified and all that stuff. Who's to say they didn't already have it certified? My contact actually reached out to me and emailed me directly when all those stories were popping up and people saying, GM's not gonna pay to do this. So we think it's a rumor and it's not likely gonna happen. They're, they just responded. So for what reason do you think GM wouldn't have to submit the LT2 to be in the Camaro? Well, I think the obvious answer is they already did. And they did so a long time ago when the LT2 was first made well before the Corvette was launched. So maybe this has been a plan for a long time. I don't know, but it was very interesting that my contact at GM emailed me that very specific question. And I kind of went back and forth trying to get like a direct answer. They wouldn't give it to me, but they it, basically trumping all these press sites. And, you know, I'm not going to name names, but, uh, you know, just stating like, you guys are dumb. It, it's coming. So we shall see. It sounds like we're going to potentially hear news before the like middle or towards the end of 2022, which tells me it has to be a 2023 moving forward thing. Uh, I know GM early on was talking about 2025 for the EV side. So that means we would have a refresh for the 2020 or the 20, 2020s, 2023 year and the 2020, 20, why, why am I saying 20 so many times? 2024 year with the 2025 year being the release of potentially the new Camaro full electric. So the one thing that they highlighted, or at least my source, actually two sources have highlighted, there will be no gap in generational release for the Camaro. Now, it does sound like gas engines for Camaro are completely going away and they're moving to a direct electric and that fits the GM plan with their new directive and everything. But it does sound like they're putting all the marbles on the table to build up the last wave of Camaros for the Z01, the SSs, to really make us happy. Are we happy? I think a lot of people would like to have seen a Z28, but it's not happening. I know I'll be happy to see an LT5 and a Z011 LE. I'm sad that it's not gonna be in the base model Z01, but I am excited that they're gonna bring over the upgrades from the Cadillac and push it a little bit more and get that 670. So. I don't know. And it's a lot of people are still going to be like, you guys are crazy. I know there's a lot of people that have messaged me like, oh, my contacts are saying there's nothing. My contacts are telling me it's a very small group of people working on this. And this is going to be something that's just going to, the lid's going to blow off it. And people are going to be, I think, impressed and excited. So I'm super excited to be able to share this news with you. I certainly hope my sources are very accurate with their information. And I always have to caveat GM can change their mind at any time. So who knows? But I'm excited to see what the future holds. And, uh, you know, still to this date, GM has never publicly stated the Camaro is dead in 2023. So keep that in mind. And uh, we know something's coming. So all that being said, thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you on the road.